let's know how latitude controls the climate of a place? First of all, we will see, what is latitude? Latitude or parallel are set of imaginary lines that run from west to east, around the earth, paralleling the equator and each other. Latitudes are named for the angle and degrees, they make between the equator, the center of the earth and their location. Here, the angle from the center of the earth and equator, make the latitude of 50 degrees north and 35 degrees south, depending on whether the location is north or south of equator. Parallels of latitude provide an indicator of the location of a place, relative to the equator. Here these two latitudes are located at a difference of 10 degrees. One degree of latitude is roughly equal to 111 kilometers or 69 miles on Earth's surface. So, how does latitude determines the climate system of a place? Latitude determines climate of a place as the insulation or solar radiation, reaching the Earth's surface is different in latitudes. This is because of curved surface of the Earth. If Earth were shaped like a block, rather than a sphere, the Sun's rays would be same for latitudes. But, the spherical nature of Earth, makes it curve away from the Sun's radiation. Now, due to this, the path length of the solar radiation is different for latitudes. The path length increases for poles, approximately 2.5 times, simply because of Earth's curvature. As Sun's rays travels longer near the poles, some of the insulation is lost on the way. More near the poles than tropics. Also, when the solar radiation strike the Earth, they interact with atmospheric particles like gases, liquid and frozen water, water vapor, dust, and other aerosols. So the energy is absorbed, reflect, and scattered. This is known as attenuation or depletion of solar rays. Near the poles, the solar radiation covers more path distance, and undergo more attenuation. Whereas at tropics, solar rays have fewer opportunities to be attenuated. The result is that the rays are more intense when they hit the surface. The more attenuation there is in the atmosphere, the less intense the insulation will be, when it strikes Earth's surface. The effect is same as the sunlight on a foggy day. Another way, in which latitude determine the climate system, is the sun radiation angle. Insulation strikes the latitudes on the Earth's surface at different angles. Near the tropics, sun's rays are directly overhead, making a 90 degree angle. As we move towards the poles the angle decreases. On the poles, sun is on the horizon, making a low angle, near to zero degrees. At high angle, which is near the tropics, the energy is concentrated on small area on the surface and will be more intense. And at a low angle, that is near the poles, warming is less intense, as illuminated region now expands, and same amount of energy is now spread across a larger area. This is known as beam spreading. Now, which latitudes receive maximum insulation? The rays that fall perpendicular to the surface, or 90 degrees above the horizon, has minimum attenuation, shortest path length, and less beam spreading. It varies only between 23.5 degrees north and 23.5 degrees south latitude. These areas receive maximum insulation. And, for locations which are, north of 23.5 degrees north latitude, or south of 23.5 degrees south latitude, the sun is never directly overhead, or at a 90 degrees angle. These areas receive less insulation. So, because of their differences in latitude alone, Russia or Finland have lower sun angle, more attenuation, more beam spreading, and less intense sunlight than India or Thailand. So, in conclusion, latitude affects climate system of a place, as it affects the sun angle of a location, which affects the intensity of radiation at surface, which affects temperature. <laughs>